Hey, what's up? Not Locks here, back at it again. Uh, another trick tip today: we're learning how to wash your dreads, wash your knots. Uh, pretty simple. For those of you out there that don't have dreads, don't have knot locks, and think that us of our kind don't wash our hair, get out of town because we do, and I'm gonna show you how. Um, so basically, I just finished washing. I'm just letting my hair dry in this fucking whatever you call this bond bond towel top turban, and uh, check it out. This is the before. <laughs> Alright, so basically, um, when it comes down to washing knots, I just wash mine, and um, usually I'll go every week, once a week, pushing towards every two weeks I'll give it a nice thorough wash, rinse, clean, sh shampoo, condition. Um, I tend to do so more when my hair, become my scalp becomes dry. Um, I've always had issues with my scalp, even growing up, uh, getting braids. Um, a lot of the African American culture will know this, the scalp dries out. Um, I've always had that issue, so it's nothing new by me having dreadlocks. Simply, when that begins to happen, I wash my hair. Uh, nice hot water, shampoo, rinse, uh, lather, repeat, you know the whole deal. Um, <clears throat> so when it comes down to it, it's pretty simple. Um, when I wash my locks, I will m focus more so on my scalp, give my scalp a nice massage, work the shampoo right into there. For the shampoo that I use, um, I go all natural. It's um, an aloe vera shampoo. Um, you want to avoid shampoos with perfume and lots of oils um, because those are the types of ingredients that will get stuck within your dread. So the more natural the shampoo, the better. Um, aloe vera, hemp, tea tree oil, rose oil, a lot of that stuff. Um, you don't want to, when you're washing your dreads, you don't want to rub your dreads and you don't want to like wash your actual dread. When you focus on your scalp, the shampoo will lather on your head and rinse down and flow through your dreads and this is enough for your dreads itself, mainly focus on your scalp because that's where all your essential oils are and uh, the beauty of everything is. So do that, um, basically you wash your hair, rinse it out, repeat it a couple times. I like to wrap my head in a towel for about 30 minutes afterwards to so just absorb a lot of the moisture that's still in my dreads, followed by that I will bring out the trusty blow dryer which you can see here and uh, I will just blow dry the rest of my hair until it's all dry completely. One thing I don't do is that I always make sure my hair is completely dry before going out or going to bed. Um, this just saves a lot of headache because when you leave your dreads moist it's more susceptible to grow bacteria or mold or start to smell it's just not good to have moisture in there stuck, so dry it as much as you can with a hair dryer before doing anything else. Usually it takes about 20 minutes with a hair dryer for me, 25 minutes. I just throw on a TV show or something and watch it. Um, also, if the occasion does arise that you do so have to go to bed with your hair wet or go outside, uh, grab a hat. I have one here. I think, so like I said, grab a hat, rasta hat, and uh, just want to put it on and put all your hair inside of it just so that your hair together will collectively dry up in the hat and nothing will be exposed to getting in there. But uh, yeah, more on that later. Um, lots of hats actually, I got lots of nice tams, they're called tam tams. Um, I don't know, I get it from. Kensington Market. I got this one from Jamaica. Uh, more videos on these later. Anyways, back to drying. We're gonna do a little bit of drying now with the blow dryer. Set. Simple. 